In this video, we take a look at the results we get from the new TXO Pure 3 with high ISO images. Hello amigos, this is Pablo Garcia, the engineer photographer. As we start this video, first, a big thank you to all of you. This is episode 100 of my bilingual photography YouTube channel. So thanks to all of you for watching and subscribing to this channel. Now, let's talk about DxO Pure Raw. I've been using DxO Pure Raw 2 for quite some time, and I really love it. It has become my favorite plugin. And two weeks ago, DxO released Pure Raw 3 with a new model, D Prime XD that promises to remove even more noise and give us even more detail from our raw files. I have done about 25 to 30 images with the new version and the results have been really good. But all those images were at most at ISO 5000 to 6000. So for this video, I wanted to push it a little more to see what kind of result we could get with noisier images at higher ISOs. And I selected two images taken both at ISO 12800, both taken with the Canon R7 with the RF 100 to 500. This is a great combination for wildlife photography. And I'm going to show you those two images next. So here we have the first image, this beautiful duck on a green pond. If we zoom in, you're going to see it's quite a bit of noise. I remove all the default color noise removal and sharpening in Lightroom. So this is the raw raw file. And you can see quite a bit of noise, both luminance noise and color noise. To go to the XO Pure Raw 3, all we have to do is either go under File, Plugin Extras, or even easier, right click on the file, go to Export, and find export process with DxO Pure Raw 3. And that's going to open Pure Raw 3 and open the plugin interface. And as you can see, we have the new D Prime XD, which is the new model. One good thing that DxO did is that they kept the prior model, D Prime. This is the version that is available in Pure Raw 2. So you have the choice of using either model. You also have optical lens corrections. So I'm going to turn on lens softness so you can turn it on or off. And under lens softness, you have soft, standard, strong, and hard. So now you have some flexibility into how much sharpening based on lens softness you want to apply. I select the deep prime, a standard, and if you select the start processing, it's going to take, for this image, probably about 12, 14 seconds. Something that you'll notice with D Prime XD is that it takes about 30 to 40 percent longer to run than D Prime. If you select Start Processing, you wait, and it's going to add it to Lightroom. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have the file, so I'm going to hit Cancel. So I'm back here in Lightroom, and you can see this is the original noisy image. And this is the image that came back from Pure Raw 3 with the Deep Prime XD model and the standard lens softness option. And if we look around, it looks amazing. The background is very clean, no artifacts on the background, and we had a very good level of detail on this beautiful duck. I edited the image, cropped it, did some tonal global corrections, selected the birth and the reflection, added a touch of clarity, texture, some tonal adjustments, and just a little bit of sharpness. And this is the completed image. And I think it did a very good job. 12,800 on a noisy image with the D Prime XD model coming back with a DNG and then finishing the edits in Lightroom created this really nice image with a very nice background and noise free. Let's take a look at a second image. This is the second image that I selected, a hummingbird with one of the flowers that I cut from my garden. If I zoom in, you can see a very noisy background, a very noisy hummingbird and flower. 
and we have both luminance noise and color noise. So I followed the same workflow, right? I went to export process with DXO Pure Raw. And the DNG that came back is this one. And as we can see, with D Prime XD, a standard softness correction, it did a great job in removing the noise from the background and giving us great detail on the bird and also removing the noise on the bird and the flower. Everything was looking really good. But as I inspected the image and I came to this area, you could see this weird texture in the background right here and in this area right there. I went back to the original image and you can see it's the noisy background, but that texture is not there. So this was the result of something that DxO Pure Raw 3 did. The next experiment I did was I still run the XD model, but I turned off the lens softness correction. I wanted to see the problem was during the demosaicing noise removal process that it does with artificial intelligence or the second step on the optical corrections. And we can still see that weird texture that I applied to the background in the same area. So the problem has nothing to do with the optical corrections. The problem has to do with the noise removal step. So I process it again and this time I selected the D prime model, the one that is used with Pure Raw 2. And here we can see that the background is a little more noisy than with XD, but we don't have that weirdness of uh, texture in the background. There is a little bit, but nothing compared to what I can see in the XD model. If we do a side-by-side -side of XD on the left and the regular D prime on the right, we can see that on D prime on the right, there is a little bit of more noise in the background. We can also see on XD that the fine feathers of the hummingbird are a little bit sharper. Both of these images use the standard softness lens correction okay so it has nothing to do with having a difference on the lens correction selection both of them are at the same level so we do get more detail on xd we do get better noise removal but it comes at the cost that at times we may get some weird texture on the background so here's where you have the choice right do you use the D prime model from U row two and then perhaps select the background and do some noise removal in Lightroom if that noise is bothersome or use the XD version and then deal with that texture in post in Lightroom. And that's what I did for my final edit. I took the XD result and then I did my final edit. I did my global adjustments with a mask. I selected the bird and the flower with select subject. It did a very good job. I did some additional tonal adjustments, color adjustments, added a touch of clarity and texture and a little bit of additional sharpening. And then I created that additional mask with the brush and I selected the problematic background area. I'm gonna zoom in. And in that area, what I did is I applied some negative texture and negative clarity. Not much, but just enough. I'm turning it on and off. Not too much, but just enough to remove that problematic area. And it did a very good job. So here is my final image. As you can see now is for very high ISO images and this one was again at ISO 12800, XD does a very good job of removing noise and giving us more detail. But at times it can give us some weird texture on the background. And that's something that we have to check. I did two images, one didn't have a problem, one did.
So a lesson learned, always double check the results that you get. You can deal with it in post, perhaps, like I did with this image. Or another option is to select the deep prime model and use that one as your starting point. Well, amigos, thank you for watching. I'll leave you here with these two videos. One, my initial review of Deep Prime 3 that I did a couple weeks ago. And another one, a video done by my good friend, Kit Bauer, who is a great photographer and great instructor. And he covered Pure Raw 3 in even more detail. I hope you enjoy them both. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for helping me get 100 episodes. Please continue to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.